So today we will do an unboxing of the items that we bought from Manila Pen Show. So this is a Manila Pen Show haul unboxing. Alright, first item is the freebie. So you get this uh, when you register. So it's a uh, Tomoe River Lucid's P4 size. Uh, it comes with two colors, uh, white and cream. It's really nice and uh, really thin. So there's a uh, cardboard at the back as well. That's uh, two whites and two creams. They're really thin. Our second item or items will be these two notebooks. You will have to buy them. And as uh, free view for buying from that boat, you get a Manila Pencil pin. Which is nice. Alright, so I'm going to open one and let's see what's inside. I, if I remember correctly, it's Tomoe River paper, but I may be wrong. So. That's so cool. It's embossed. And it's uh shoot, I forgot what kind of binding is this, but yeah, the inside is dotted. So the paper is smooth and quite thin as well. But it is uh, made for fountain pen, of course, so that's quite nice. Next item will be Toyoka Craft. This is a uh, pen tray without the Lead. so it's uh, for it to stay on your table perhaps oh it's a little bit hard to there you go look at that it's quite nice White lines. Oh, yes. That's that better. Hello. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. That's really nice. It has a uh, rubber foot so that it won't. Uh, slide in your table so it's a one two three four five six it's really fine craft the next items i didn't plan on buying so i didn't plan on buying fountain pens but yeah i did i bought it so uh they're both from benu not sure if i pronounced that correctly <laughs> anyway our first pen is uh, Euphoria. Well, they're both Euphoria, just different model and nib sizes. So this one's a uh, scent of iris. Yeah, look at that. Even the packaging is really nice. Ooh. <laughs> let's turn that on yeah okay so that looks really nice 
So this is set of irises. At that, look at the details. It's a broad nib. And it's uh, iridium point. I think uh, still need iridium point. So it's really nice. The whole pen looks really nice. All right, so our next item, another fountain pen from Ben. Uh, it's Euphoria. It's the same model, just different color and uh, nib size. Uh, okay, so let's open it up. Oh, uh, there you go. There you go. And look at that. They look nice. Polish looks really nice. Right, so, uh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, upside down again. Oops. Alright, so that's Ben. This is Tropical. Tropical. Wow. <laughs> this is Tropical Voyage. And it's on a more bluish hue with green uh, glimmers or shimmers. So this one's a medium nib. Medium, still nib with a uh, iridium point. Wait, did we lost false? Hello? There we go. That looks nice. Look at that. Oh, so it has a little bit of stain in it. <laughs> uh, I tested this one before buying. So it has a bit, bit of uh, ink in it. Look at that. So the next item I didn't really buy. Uh, but it's a freebie from a local store. Scribe the pH that is in collaboration I think with Jim River um, for the Manila Pen Show of course it's an exclusive uh, free gift yeah the uh, limited edition pen cloth designed exclusively for scribe in collaboration with local homegrown brand Jim River for Manila Pen Show 2023 so it's a uh, Tropical foods, I guess. Our next set will be the inks. Of course. So, uh, most of the inks I bought are locally made. Uh, the first one is from uh, Troublemakers Inc. They have a number of inks that I really like. I think three of these are sheen, two are regular ones, and then one is uh, shimmer, perhaps, I think, maybe. So we have Sinulub Black, Basilica Red, Lam Am, Simone, Starry Night Blue, and Nautical Highway. This is a uh, shimmer, I believe. And uh, it looks 
really great on the uh, swatch sample they have made in the Philippines. I think it's too bright. <laughs> Perhaps. Anyway, uh, it's a 50 ml. Uh, these two are. Oh, it's quite hard. There you go. These two are uh, regular regular inks. That's uh, 60 ml. 60 ml bottle. Yeah, made in the Philippines. Called Sinulog Black. I guess uh, this is a grayish black based on the color. And then Basilica Red. This is quite nice. I saw the swatch for this and it's more of an orange red. Look at that. That's a lot of damn. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's a fountain pen ink, of course, 6ml and made in the Philippines. Cute Neko though. Neko is cut. Or in Tagalog, Pusa. This one is Starry Night Blue. This is Shin. Uh, based on what I understand, Shins have some sort of two colors that uh, when you try to uh, view them on a different angle, I guess, it changes the color. It's a 60 ml bottle. In the Philippines. Not. So yeah, it's a bluish, bluish yellow tint. I'm not sure if uh, it shows in the video, but yeah. <laughs> Next one is Simone. So this one is also quite nice on the swatch sample they have. Simone. And troublemakers. Uh, it's sort of a purplish blue with a reddish hue. So I'm not sure if it's showing, but anyway, <laughs> I'm going to make a swatch of these inks in the future, definitely. And of course, we'll be making a video of it. Look at that. Quite nice. And then the last one, it's called Lamang. Uh, it has a purplish hue again, but uh, this time it has. Uh, brownish shin. So they all look nice, I guess. I mean, the shins and the shimmer, they all look nice in the swatch 
samples uh, the troublemakers uh, booth in the manutention so tell you the truth I'm quite excited to use them to try them try them on. Our next set of pens I bought from a local store, part of the Manila Pen Show, of course, uh, from Everything Calligraphy. Uh, and the inks are from uh, Vinta Inks. So I bought two Vinta Inks. And I got a free one. Um, seal just won't make it stand, so I'll just there. There you go, Vinta Makopa. It's a pinkish hue. So, uh, let's just set this one side since it's just rolling over and over and over. So the Vinta Makopa is a pinkish hue, pinkish red, and it's a free gift from uh, buying these two bottles. So our first one is uh, Vinta Ink Piloncitos. Uh, it looks like it's a shimmer. Uh, I'm just not sure if it is, but yes, the box has this really cool greenish gold tone and it's really nice. Uh, Vinta Inks is also locally made, local ink, Philippine made inks. Uh, why are the boxes? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, yeah. gold dust so i'm assuming this is shimmer i forgot to ask the the store and if it is so <clears throat> uh, it's just gold dust so maybe maybe so yeah uh pioncito is a greenish hue uh greenish gray i guess more like with gold uh, dust I guess <laughs> gold dust literally so anyway um, yeah so there's a high chance that this is a shimmer ink Next one is a new one, I think. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, Simulan is of purple hue. It's a 30 ml bottle, same as the other ink, and the box is the same greenish and gold or I mean green and gold hue so yeah uh, this is a purple hue with sort of goldish particles but uh, uh, it does look here that it has goldish glimmer or something. But uh, this one has a uh, all this a swatch. It has a swatch on the 
everything calligraphy booth and it that didn't look like it's a shimmer ink so maybe it's just me i don't know yep looks really nice all right uh the next set of inks are from on inks i believe they're a local brand as well which is nice i didn't know that there's a number of ink makers in the philippines and uh they have good ink colors actually which is nice so yeah <laughs> i forgot to show the inks <laughs> all right so here i bought three inks from them and um yeah i believe they're local ink mayors so one of them is actually named anyway all right uh, the first ink is purple heartwood uh, it says in the name purple of course uh, it has purple hue um more like purplish gray or grayish purple i mean so it is nice uh these three are all swatched so yeah, I like them, and yeah, uh, you can find them on social. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, the ML Purple Heartwood. It's, um, yeah, it's more like grayish uh, purple. Uh, it's a little bit on the lighter side of purple, of course and they're all nice and then Bagong Alamang uh, this is an exclusive pen in, uh, I mean ink <laughs> this is an exclusive ink for the Manila Pen Show so they have two actually and they're both uh, named uh, in pair uh, they're both food the other one is Kare Kare and then this one is Bagong Alamang which is a nice pair actually if you haven't tried it yet it's a Filipino dish and it's really good so anyway <laughs> this one's Bagong Alamang it's uh reddish or more like maroon uh pinkish maroon uh again it's in a 50 ml bottle uh, so, uh, think of this color but a little bit lighter just a little bit so yeah uh, as I said they're all swatched and the hue and lightness of Bagawang Lamang is actually quite nice and then uh, the third one is frosted glass uh, as you can see this is light gray uh, light gray light blue this is light blue or i don't know exactly what color is this but it's light blue i guess which is great as well as it said uh, it's frosted glass uh, the swatch of that is really nice i really liked it at first uh first look first glance i liked it already so the next ink isn't locally made <laughs> It's based on Liverpool, England, and they released an exclusive ink for the uh, Manila Pen Show. This is from Diamine Ink. It's called Suman, which is a food 
again. <laughs> Filipino food, or I guess other cultures have it as well. But yeah, uh, Suman is a a little bit dark green per se, but uh, they have a sample writing, and I thought it's quite nice. Uh, it's probably that's a 80 ml bottle. Yeah, diamond ink. Exclusive for Manila Pen Show. And last but not the least, of course, I am seeing a number of fountain pen you pain. <laughs> what? Fountain pen users that's into calligraphy that uses um, Ferris wheel press, of course. Um, the selection in the Manila Pen Show is something that not for me, I guess, uh, except for this one. Uh, it's a purple, I think, based on the box. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I haven't opened it yet. Uh, it's called Tanzanite Sky. I'm thinking that most of the Ferris wheel press inks are uh, shimmer, I think. But yeah, uh, I just got curious about the ink, so I bought it. Uh, this is uh, Tanzanite Sky, so I guess it is uh, purple or grayish purple or purplish something. So yeah, uh, that's all of it.